give you guys a little outfit of the day I don't love this work outfit and if I'm being honest I was running late this morning because I could not choose the outfit for the day like I was struggling so hard because it has been over 90 degrees every single day and this was like the only thing that I had like ready to go so this little cow print shirt that is like perfect for Chick-fil-a is from either Marshall's or Burlington one of those stores and then my little maxi skirt is so cute you guys it's like this kind of silk satin it is from Nordstrom Rack like the clearance maybe like two years ago I love it and then obviously I had my hair back like in a claw clip but I'm now going to change into my workout outfit um, I did have some dinner and I just went ahead and packed my lunch for work tomorrow also I want to share with you guys my hair has gotten so long i think i got a haircut sheesh maybe back in like mm, april or march maybe and it's so long again i take these one vitamins that have biotin and collagen and you guys my hair is oh my mom's yelling please excuse my leave of absence because i have taken a bit of a break from youtube and instagram and not like not going on those platforms but like posting on them because july was such a challenging month like there is no better way to put it other than it was super challenging and i had so many different things and so many different factors that made it so challenging um the first thing i want to you know kind of debrief about like July um I had such a moment of scare with my health and before I sound super dramatic um I started to not feel well at work and I had a few incidents where my blood sugar would drop really bad and I felt like I was gonna pass out and I felt like just really sick and um it wasn't happening every day but it was happening often enough where I was recognizing it and the first thing that came into my head was i have diabetes um or i'm anemic or something like that and diabetes runs very strong in my family on both sides um so as you can see for that reason it was a big concern and um it started to eat me up every single day and i would be scared that i would feel this way again meaning my blood sugar drop and like i'd feel awful again so it started to create very very bad anxiety um with that being said a few days passed um i was going to get my menstrual cycle and as i grow older my symptoms change and being you know a woman we are blessed every month and i started to have really bad anxiety and depression 
and then on top of it the anxiety of thinking i'm possibly diabetic it was just really eating up my mental health and then i'm also going through a lot in my personal life um and that was really hard and some days were a lot harder than others um and then you know knowing spencer goes back to san francisco for college um very soon and by the time you're watching this in a week um i was <laughs> really not feeling good and i think what was affecting me was mainly the fact that i was scared about my health and then everything else on top of it just wasn't helping also i kind of started the process of a possible job promotion so i was really stressed about that because i knew i had like competition who had more experience than me who you know are older than me so that was a lot um honestly so i was going through it and i'm so thankful to sit here now and pick up my camera again i just feel like i lost myself for an entire month don't ever you know be scared to ask for help if you're not feeling well whether it's mentally physically anything like people are out there to help you and um, you just have to make the phone call and you just gotta call and ask for help whether it's your family, therapist, literally anybody um, do what's gonna make you feel better and for me that was making an appointment figuring out what was wrong with me and I got blood work done um, my mom and Spencer went with me my results came back negative for some things and then I found that I had some issues with my liver so we're getting my answers and that's making me feel better also found out i'm taking the next step for this job promotion um got my letters of recommendation um spencer leaving doesn't really you know get much better just uh something that is a bittersweet feeling because i'm so happy and excited for him but at the same time i'm so sad so it's really hard to you know not want to be selfish and just be sad um, but more be excited for this next chapter in his life and next season in our relationship and you know long distance is actually really challenging um, especially when they're your best friend but um, at the end of the day it's just a uh, I'm trying to sound so positive um, about long distance and uh, it's a little hard when he's moving in a week but long distance actually helped our relationship a lot so i'm grateful for that um but it doesn't get easy it really doesn't get easier like did i put it on my sock backwards i didn't even put it on right so that's a little update but i'm so happy to say here i am ready back on my youtube grind back on my instagram grind i'm literally taking this next season in my life and just putting myself first uh focusing on my wellness and i'm trying to become stronger i want to become healthier um healthier in my mental health so far it's been almost one week of me fully feeling better which I'm so thankful for and that was my little life update thank you for listening